Hello students. Today we will discuss about refractive index. We will define what is refractive index and know what is the concept and application of refractive index. Hello students. Today we will discuss about refractive index. It's a number, refractive index is basically a number which gives you the idea that how fast light travels in a given medium with respect to the medium in air. Suppose that or how fast light travels in air compared to other medium. That means suppose that the speed of light in air is And suppose that speed of light in any other medium, say I will consider any medium, obviously any medium other than air, I call for example this medium as glass when light passes through glass its speed is less than the speed in air suppose the speed is 2 into 10 to 8 meter per second then basically refractive index means it is denoted by mu refractive index of glass with respect to air this is written like that in fact, index of glass with respect to air, it is the speed of light in air and divided by the speed of light in a medium that is glass. If I put the value, I will get 3 10 to 8 divided by 2 10 to 8 meter per second, meter per second. This will cancel out, this will cancel out, this is only 1.5, it's a number. It's a pure number. So, if you get the refractive index of any medium with respect to air, suppose that is called the absolute refractive index of say glass is 1.5, that means the speed of light in air is. 1.5 times greater than the speed of light in that medium. Suppose, suppose here I am getting 1.5, that means speed of light is 1.5 times greater than the speed in the given medium, that is this. If I multiply this with this, I will get this. Suppose that the refractive index is suppose 2, that means the speed of light in air is twice the speed of light in the given medium whose refractive index is 2. So this gives you the how fast the light travels in air compared to the speed in that given medium whose refractive index is known to you. So basically the refractive index of any medium with respect to any other medium is basically the ratio of the velocity of two of light into media so first of all now we'll understand and uh, like the definition of refractive index
in this case the refractive index we get is called absolute refractive index so explanation suppose i have two medium one is air another is glass now the light is incident on this glass surface and because of the refraction it bends towards the normal because we know that glass is denser and the speed with which the light travels in air is Va the speed with which light travels in glass is Vg then refractive index mu of glass with respect to air this is read as refractive index of glass with respect to air now this is nothing but velocity in air by velocity in glass this is the formula for this in general if light moves from glass to air then what happens so for any two medium x and y Effective index of x with y, so x and y are two medium. This is one medium, this is another medium. So you read this as uh, this expression is read as refractive index of x with respect to y, and therefore this is written as velocity in y medium divided by velocity in x medium so earlier it was air and it was glass so therefore uh, i have uh, actually taken uh, x y here and y x here because i can move from this medium to that medium or vice versa so this way or that way so we'll discuss that this means that it is uh, Vy Vx and if I write Yx this means that refractive index of Y medium with respect to X. So here we we'll write Vx upon Vy. So in this expression the velocity of this one is first written. This is the first one. You have to write this first then write the velocity of this and divide here velocity of y divided by velocity of x here velocity of x divided by velocity of y so i can uh, write that mu g a as velocity of this medium first divided by velocity of this medium similarly if i write mu a g i changes the medium that means light is traveling from glass to air or anyway then refractive index of air with respect to glass this is that as refractive index of air with respect to glass this is vg by v a so the general expression is that in this expression whatever comes written here the velocity is taken first then divide the velocity here so this is how you write so refractive index of glass with respect to air for example if i took that example this is 3 3 10 to 8 2 10 to 8 so here it is 1.5 that is 3 by 2 but if i write this way that is 2 into 10 to 8 divided by 3 10 to 8 this is 2 by 3 so what conclusion you are drawing is that this and this are reciprocal to each other this and this are reciprocal to each other that means we can write mu x y into mu y x y here x y here y x is 1 because they are reciprocal why 1 because uh, this result is important because mu x y is 1 by mu y x so now i this is one result you have to remember apart from this if refractive index of only x is given 
that means nothing is mentioned here that means if nothing is there this means that that nothing is nothing but it is air or vacuum or free space if nothing is mentioned that means we assume that this air is present so this type of refractive index is called absolute this is called absolute refractive index of this medium x whenever absolute refractive index means that uh, the refractive index of the given medium with respect to air only so this means it is air so that means mu x if it is written this means that this implies mu x a so this can be written as v a by v x velocity in air by velocity in x similar this is also nothing but velocity in air by velocity in x so in place of this you can write this in place of this also you can write this because both are the same thing suppose refractive index of glass is given as uh, 3 by 2 this implies that this is a refractive index of glass with respect to air this implies that this is a refractive glass with respect to air and it is 3 by 2 this also means that velocity in air by velocity in glass that equation you can use again refractive index of any medium x with respect to y is uh, velocity in y by velocity in x velocity is frequency into wavelength in y by frequency in wavelength in x frequency will remain the same because when light changes is uh, medium the frequency will not change because frequency depends on the source it is not going to change as the light changes is media only the wavelength and speed will change so therefore i will cancel this out this is one formula that vy by vx is lambda y by lambda x then also this is also written as mu of x by mu of y this is also like that so this is a formula you have to remember well in terms of velocity this by this in terms of refractive index this is this by that you can uh, prove yourself that this is equal to this okay how can you prove that because uh, if you write the value of this this is with respect to air this is also with respect to air you can just see that you have to show that uh, mu x y equals to mu x by mu y you have to prove this how to prove that let us say right side right side of the equation if i solve this this is mu x nothing is there means air divided by y air if i solve this then this is uh, velocity in air by velocity in x divided by velocity in air by velocity in y so velocity in this will cancel out this is vy by vx anything written like this this is nothing but this value because this means that velocity in y by velocity in x this divided by this so these two terms comes out to be equal so this can be written as this this is a very important conclusion you have to remember okay that's all about refractive index